hey beautiful people it is good to have you back again with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to prep for inktober 2021 i'm actually so excited it's my first time participating in, in inktober so yeah this is going to be fun and challenging i just hope i get time that's like my biggest concern because it's like 31 days that's a lot but anyway let's just get right into the video <laughs> Okay, so first of all, Inktoba is a challenge that was started in 2009 by Jake Parker. Um, he started it to improve his drawing skills, which is a fun way to do it. I mean, you know, you're drawing something every single day and that's just a great way to improve. But I feel like anyone can join in. You don't have to be an artist to participate in Inktoba, you know. Anyone can join in. Just a fun way if you, you know, need an extra hobby, something to do in October. Well, this is the challenge for you because you get to draw every single day. For 31 days that's a lot but i mean it doesn't have to be something big you know you can just draw like on a small paper or you can go big if you want to and you have the time but yeah okay so the first thing you need to prepare for inktober is to get a prompt so get a list that you like there is a already set one that you can get you can just go on instagram and or the website for inktober and just get the list there if you don't like the list, just search on Instagram, Inktober Prompts, and then you're going to find a lot of different lists. I'm looking through them now to see which one I'm going to use. I saw the Inktober one. I actually like it. But if I find a different one that's better than the Inktober, the original Inktober li list, then I'm going to choose that. But yeah, so just go on Instagram and look for the one that you like. And yeah, once you have your list ready, then... Take a screenshot or write it down in like your note. I have like a little notebook where I write everything down. So I'm going to write down my list there. Or I'll take a screenshot. I don't know. I'll just see what I'm going to do. I should do that now obviously since I'm prepping as well. And then yeah. Okay so I just went through all these lists here on Instagram. And they all... I like some of them but like most of them are very Halloween-y. And they're just witches. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like drawing such... For 31 days you know so i'm gonna go with the original list and yeah okay i found a cool list it's like only oh it's like only 11 days so you don't have to do the full 30 days yeah this is also what's fun about it you can like make your own rules i think you know yeah because you don't have to do the full um 30 31 days because that's a lot and i mean we students we busy we have assignments exams for some people so it gets quite hectic to be drawing <laughs> every day so you could get like this list i'll put it on the screen this is just only 11 days which is cool or create your own uh, own list with just 11 days or you can draw you can do this and say oh i'm gonna do one drawing every single week you know instead of drawing every day but i want to try and do the full 31 days so I'll, i don't know i'll see how that goes i think yeah i'm gonna vlog it so that we see we'll go through it together and see how the process um goes and i'll show you guys my drawings and yeah and you know what my problem is i like complicated and you know detailed drawings and those take time which is something i don't have because i don't know well i do have time for my assignments but like you know i'm always procrastinating so i take time to do them so now i'm adding more work because i'm adding into it but i really want to do it because it's gonna be so much fun and every year i tell myself i'm gonna do it but then i don't so this year i am forcing things when i have an assignment due or not my camera stopped recording because of storage but anyway we back what was i what was i saying now i forgot but i think i was saying i'm forcing things or something like that so yeah whether there's an assignment due or not you know i'll squeeze all of them together in one day and just just get it get it done because <laughs> there's no other way we're doing this but yeah so you can do it you know whichever whichever way works for you you can do one one week I mean one drawing a week or you can do one drawing a day or you can do the 11 days one so you can choose but as i said you can go on instagram and choose whichever one works for you or create your own one i'm gonna go with the original inktober list um so what you'll need is pen and paper literally that's all pen and paper because you're gonna be using ink but i mean you know some people switch it up they use paints they do it digitally so again whichever one works for you i am gonna use ink and paper you can buy okay no for us students no we're not buying anything let's use what we have in the house to save money you know because guys you know student life Ciao. so yeah you can if you have books like this you can use that but i'm not going to be using this because i mean it, 
this is like a notebook and it has lines you know so it's not like a sketchbook so i don't want to be drawing on lines but what i recommend is something that's this small it's either you get paper that's this small or just double paper and cut it to this size or a5 and then yeah but again i can't use this one because lines so that sucks i really wanted to go to like an art store and just buy a book or like cna and get like a book it's more cute book like this i don't think it would be that pricey but like it's not necessary because i have paper so why not use it you know let me just show you guys i mean this is my sketchbook for my assignments and stuff so it's full of a lot of drawings i should do a video showing you guys the sketches in here eh? what a mess but the outcomes are great so yeah yeah so i think i'm gonna use this because you know sketchbook and i can just sketch in here but again i don't want to use this whole a4 page How, that means the drawing has to fill the page and i don't have time for that like that's gonna take me long i know i'm not very good at using ink i'll insert my first ink drawing here i wasn't sure about it but it came out pretty good i think it was a drawing of yara shahidi but yeah yeah but i'm gonna use this paper so i'm gonna fold it in half Ooh, I'm excited for Inktober. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna eat this size. Or should I go? Yeah, but this is too small. Wait, is it too small? Because there's no time, you know, so this is perfect. Yeah. Hmm, you know, but. Uh, no, I need space. So let's. Yeah, I think we'll stick with this. And I'm just gonna cut this off so it can look neat. And then I'm gonna cut the page in half. So I'll just have a bunch. I'll have 31 pages at the end of October. And then I can take pictures and put it in like a folder or whatever. Or can turn it into a coloring book after this. I don't know. This is gonna be so much fun. I'll see what I do at the end. But hopefully I make it to 31 days. I pray. <laughs> I'll try my best. But yeah, so I, that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my sketchbook and just cut all the pages. Um, and then, so the next thing, the next thing that you're gonna need is your pens, your inks, whatever you're gonna be using. So I have, ooh, I have different types of. I like these because you know they have like different heads here. Some of them are very very thin, and the others are thick. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, so I'm gonna be using these. I got them in Archneer's Hatfield, but you can also check like any other art store, they should have these. But I said we're not buying anything, <laughs> you know, we're using whatever it's in the house, whatever you find. I found this, it's a pen, it's brown, so I might, you know, that day I might be feeling brown, so I might be using that. And a normal black pen, found it in the house again, I'm gonna use that. It's another one, uh, and then I, I have a pencil because, again, I'm not comfortable with using ink. So I always start my ink drawings with a pencil. So I'm gonna start sketching it first and then going over it with ink. And then yeah, the next thing that I have over here is my watercolor paints. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using that as well. I know it's Inktober, but you know, maybe I might be feeling a little watercolorish or whatever. I mean, if you use black, it'll look like ink. So. I don't know, I'm just gonna be having fun with this and exploring. So I might be using do I have the correct paper to Yeah, I can paint on this paper. So yeah, I might be using that. Hopefully I get the time, you know, when I'm bored one day, one day. That's the thing, I don't even have time to be bored because of my assignments. <sighs> See guys, student life. And then I have these, it's my brush set. I don't know if I should take them out. But yeah, so that's if I do decide to paint. It's not coming out. Hmm. But yeah, I haven't used these because I've been using my other ones, so I hope they... These are big. These are very... Oh, no. Here's the size I'm looking for. Because the rest are very big. Look. And I'm using that small paper. But I... Oh, it's so great because, you know, nobody wants hard paint brushes. But I'll be using like this because this is the, you know, for the details shop. I'm saying details, it depends on the drawing I'm doing. Cause again, you don't have to do like compl complicated drawings, especially if you don't have time like me. So it could be something as simple as like an umbrella, you know, or like you can just draw like something like that. Like just that flower. It depends on your list, obviously. Maybe it said something, maybe it said a flower. Your flower can be like this, it doesn't have to be detailed because you completed it, you know? But obviously if you like me, you like detail and drama and whatever, then you can go all in. But it depends on time. 
so i feel like some of them i'm just they're just gonna be very quick and simple like this because i won't have time but the point is i'll get them done and that is the goal and i mean it's my first october but it's fine we'll other years we'll plan a better and you know we'll be more organized and we won't have school so yeah but i'll probably have other things going on as well so <sighs> child <laughs> This is hectic. But yeah, that's all you're going to need for 2021's Inktober. I hope you guys join in. And obviously when you're done with your drawing, take a picture and then you post it on Instagram. If you have an art page, you post it on your art page. If you don't want uh, to, you know, mess up your feed. Uh, I know my friends are, are those type of people. Then you just post it on your story and then hashtag Inktober. You can tag me as well, at Kukita Holly. And yeah, I'd love to see you guys, your guys' drawings. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.